Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, I'm sitting here with my lamb. It's the second day of the Passover celebration. And the Passover celebration is one where the first night and the second night is a, a meal called a Seder. And if we were celebrating a Seder meal, we would have on our plate a Zeroa. Zeroa is the, the a shank of meat. I think most people use like chicken necks, but the Zeroa is there to represent the Passover lamb. You see, what happened when God was bringing the people out, the Israelites out of their Egyptian slavery, uh, he tried to get Pharaoh to let the people go time after time after time with various plagues that he brought upon Egypt. And Pharaoh would never let it happen until the 10th plague. And, and I say God tried, God made the effort, but there are also passages that say God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Pharaoh was hardening his own heart, but God was behind that as well because God had purpose. He knew that the final act would be one that Pharaoh called upon himself, but it was a final act of death of the firstborn. But that angel of death would not visit the houses that had been protected in a sense, or better than protected, let's say marked, by the blood of the Lamb. And an unblemished lamb was to be slain for each household. And the, the blood was to be painted across the top of the door and the sides. And uh, the, the angel of death passing over in the night would not visit death on those homes that had been marked by the blood of the Passover lamb. And so the Passover plate, the Seder feast, has a shank of meat on it to remind those participating in the Seder of the sacrifice of the lamb involved in bringing them out of slavery. Now for the Christian during Holy Week, this is especially important as well because the Christian understands that, that Jesus didn't simply wave a magic wand to bring us out of the slavery of our sin. Slavery of sin, by the way, is a really tough slavery. Its sin is so sticky. It gets to us and it clings to us and, and you can't really get it off very well. And the problem is the wages of sin are death. And so sin comes with a curse. It's a cancer that God is going to cut out and destroy. So the, the Christian theology is rooted in this Passover understanding that a lamb, an unblemished lamb, would be slain as the final movement in God's orchestral symphony that brings his people out of bondage, which to a Christian represents our release from the bondage of slavery and the consequences of eternal death. So. Jesus is coming uh, in, in 2,000 years ago, and, and he's coming into ministry, and people over and over, John the Baptist and others say, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And Jesus, as a Passover lamb, is remembered in Christian tradition through the Lord's Supper. But in Hebrew tradition with the Seder feast, you've got that shroah on the plate every time to remind everyone that a lamb was slain for the redemption of Israel. More tomorrow as we get ready for Good Friday, but this is your video thought for today.